Hey guys, it is time for another renovation update here at the house. Before I start, I wanna say I am so sorry that I haven't been posting regularly with the gardening content because as you can tell, I've got my hands full here. But don't worry, of course, I'm rearing to get back at it. As soon as we're done with this, which should be in about a week, I will be back to posting the gardening content that you guys love. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy this update. All right, guys, day seven. Today is Sunday. We started this last Monday, so we are rolling in on a week. I know it doesn't look like a big difference from yesterday, but what we did today was actually pretty incredible. There is, there was this big fireplace deal here, which thankfully we took out because there was an electrical splice in the wall right above the fireplace where one, it would have gotten way too hot and two, it was just spliced together and taped up. So that could have been a future fire hazard. And then this giant hole that was back here was barely insulated at all. In fact, that's just going right up to the attic. And then it was an open space with uh, like a quarter inch um, plywood type board and that was it. And then they had a fox brick over that, like quarter inch brick, and then the fireplace there. So we tore that out because we figured that we'd probably do it in the future since they capped off the actual chimney. We'll probably convert it to gas eventually. There's an electric one that we're gonna stick back in there and then maybe make a little entertainment center here. We still wanna go with the brick around the outside but we're just gonna buy it new. So we did that today, that was a major mess. And then if you guys can tell, we cleared everything out of here because we took everything off. I did all of that last night before getting home. Every single last one. Um, we're gonna do all brand new here with this stuff because we figured by the time we are done sanding down, pulling the nails out, dealing with all this trim in the entire house. Since we didn't want it the way it was, we want to uh, make our own color so it matches very well with the whole scheme that we're going for here. Um, we were gonna refinish them anyways. <clears throat> so the amount of work that it was gonna take to sand all of them down and prep them and then stain them and then poly them after that point, was just not gonna be worth it. It really wasn't. So we tore all that out, cleaned it all out, got it all out of there. Hopefully somebody takes it for free. I'd hate for them to go to waste. But then what we did, if you can see, the floors look really clean. We actually took our hose in here and sprayed off all of the walls, sprayed off the floors, and followed as we were spraying with a shop vac, not this one, one a little bit bigger than this. You just take out the filter and you get the attachment on there for the floor and follow along right behind the person who's spraying, making sure that you really, really focus on the outside edges here as fast as you can. Don't let it sit there. And then follow through with the floor, do all that. We did that throughout the entire house here. All of this space was done, washed out with a hose and sucked up with a vacuum. We had about uh, maybe 45 to 50 gallons of water that we sprayed in here to clear everything off. We're getting rid of all the dust, all the debris. Everything at this point is gone to where all we have now is drywalling, which we're gonna wet sand. There's no more cutting in here at all. Everything is finished except for the stuff we're gonna do outside because we've gotta build some two by fours to complete a wall and drywall this. All that's gonna be cut outside. Drywall is gonna be cut outside. The vinyl plank's gonna be cut outside. All of this stuff, as you can see, is prepped and ready for drywall. We've got our ridges on each side. Our support for all of that stuff is ready for, for the drywall to go up. So no more cutting there. I've got all the pieces in that were pulled out. See that one there and this one here. Little edges and all that finicky stuff to make sure that we're ready for drywall. Again, half edge there and there. 
already for drywall. All that stuff was done today. And not only that, but we also washed out the entire basement here. The whole basement was washed out too. And one last thing that we did, so we've got a hole here in our vent. So same thing right there. And then over here, it's another air vent. These are all the ducts. Return, heating, air conditioning, HVAC ducts. All of these we either opened up at a splice point or chopped some holes in them. And then when we were up above washing everything down, we sprayed these suckers out really, really good. And so much gunk came out of these things that I am so glad that we did take that extra step. So now we just got to seal that up and we're done. This thing is cleaned out, clean as a whistle. Washed all that out while we were in the whole process of doing everything else. And uh, I'm so happy we did it because this whole place is spotless at this point, even though we're in the middle of construction and uh, I'm so ready to get there. We are almost finished, almost finished. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> yeah, we tore that out too. So we're gonna get a vanity here. We don't know if it's gonna be 48, 36, or if we can do the whole six footer. Unfortunately, once you get to bathroom vanities compared to kitchen um, counters and cabinets, so this, if this were a kitchen one, I mean, it wouldn't be that much, maybe a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks, whatever. But as soon as you put the word bathroom vanity in there and it's built for a bathroom like this, the price goes way, way up. So we've got to shop around and see what we want to do slash build for this area. But uh, again, just like everything else, we're like, let's just do it right before we move in because we're going to be tearing that out eventually. Just get it done now for what it's worth. It's, it's going to be so nice when it's all done here. So we are chugging along. That has been a week now. Tomorrow's Monday, time to start this whole thing over again. I, I still think we can get this thing finished by next weekend. Um, hopefully at least by Sunday so we can get stuff rolling in here um, that Monday. But I, my hopes are pretty high for us being able to be in a livable condition with the flooring in. We probably won't have all the doors in and stuff and all of the kitchen finished, but it will be in a livable condition. We don't have to paint, we don't have to drywall, we don't have to do flooring. We can move in at that point. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll be back to our regular gardening schedule soon, don't you worry. I hope your guys' gardens are growing well and I hope you're getting out there, having fun, learning a lot in the gardens. I can't wait to get back at it after this project's done. Talk to you guys later. Bye.